Hi, it's Elder here, and today I wanted to go ahead and review these training knives, uh, rubberized, made by cold steel. Now, uh, rubberized, uh, you might think it's completely bendable, completely rubber, but as you can tell, it is bendable, but it's uh, pretty hard plastic, very durable plastic, so don't let the, uh, the term rubberized uh, fool you. Now, as far as these cold steel trainers, I am reviewing this specific model, uh, which is their Leatherneck model. But uh, keep in mind, for the purpose of, the, uh, of this review, there are many different models, and they all pretty much follow suit, so it really depends on what you prefer to train with, uh, possibly what you might have out in the field with you that you're going to work as far as a real blade. That's what you pretty much would want to train with. Uh, but as far as uh, me, I have almost one of each, from a, uh, M9 bayonet trainers to the Tonto trainers to other fighting knife trainers, and all made by Cold Steel, and it's been years now that I've been training with them, and uh, I'm impressed with them. Uh, they're good to go, excellent price, and the way that they do mimic the actual real blade as far as dimensions, uh, it's pretty much as close as you're going to get when it comes to a trainer. Now, depending on the mission and on the drill and what exactly I'm working with, whether it's my own personal practice or whether I'm working with a student, I prefer sometimes to use these cold steel blades that uh, are a bit more forgiving. So you can imagine, especially uh, somebody that's a newbie in training and constantly getting sliced or whatever, when we use our aluminum trainers, uh, they'll end up scratching the person up a bit more, leaving a lot more bruises. Now, for those of us that have been training for a while, no big deal. It's part of it. But for the people getting started, you kind of don't want to scare them right from the beginning. So you want to be as gentle as possible. And that's why from the beginning, I like going with more of these rubberized plastic blades. But once again, if I am working on disarms or locks or anything like that, uh, these do tend to bend a heck of a lot more. So, you know, as far as the execution, it'll be uh, relatively more difficult because of the fact that this gives as opposed to an aluminum trainer. So keep that in mind, right? We want to use different tools just like everything else, just like when we're out in the field for the specific mission. Now, being a U.S. Marine, of course, I'm partial to this Leatherneck uh, blade by Cold Steel because it resembles the uh, Marine Corps fighting knife uh, made by K-Bar. So very similar, something that I do have when I'm out in the field with me. So I do enjoy, enjoy uh, training with this because I do have the live blades or the real blades that uh, I can build the attributes through my training, right? And taking a, an extra safety measure by not using a real blade and being stupid, right? But once again, I can build up those attributes so when I do have the same dimensions, of course, the real blade will be a little bit heavier. But as far as dimensions, as far as application, uh, it's really gonna mimic it quite well. And then that conveys over to when I do have to use my, uh, my real blade for anything out in the field or uh, unfortunately, if there is some kind of uh, self-defense application that I do need to use while I'm in the field. Um, so, you know, keep that in mind. Another aspect that I want you to keep in mind is I do a lot of traveling and uh, training uh, internationally. So anything that I do check into bags, obviously I'm not going to bring this uh, in my carry-on uh, regardless, even though it's just a piece of plastic, you can imagine it's going to set off a lot of flags with TSA and customs and especially depending on the country that I am visiting. But even leaving the States, you might have trouble sometimes. Now with these blades, I actually just came back from Europe, from teaching over in Europe, and I had these in my suitcase, in my checked luggage, raised no flags, no questions. Now I've had other fellow instructors that I've been out working in the Middle East with, and they'll bring their aluminum trainers, and even though they're aluminum trainers and thick and no edge and no blade, they still get them confiscated because they're a little too real uh, for certain countries. So if you are looking for a uh, good, reputable company that makes trainers and, and makes them very close to the standard of the, uh, the real weapon or the real blade, uh, definitely take a close look at Cold Steel. As I stated, I've been using them for years, uh, very happy with them, very durable. It's not something I need to replace every couple years like I do with uh, other blades that we've tried in the past or other trainer blades that we've tried in the past. And uh, as you know, their, their real blades are pretty good to go also. So uh, give them a closer look, might fit your niche. Uh, keep in mind safety is everything, okay? You can still really get hurt. You can still get your eye poked out. Make sure that you wear uh, your eye protection. Even It's even imprinted right here on the uh, trainer blade itself. So be smart. The way that you practice here is the way that you're going to implement things when you're not in such a safe situation. So if you're looking to get started or even you've been training for a while, uh, cold steel may be the answer for you with training blades. Once again, this is Helder. Thank you for your time. Hope you enjoyed this review.